guys welcome back to the channel got a special project today gonna be replacing the uh, smooth tread gravel tires that I have on my 3t with a bit uh, chunkier tread gravel tire I got the challenge getaway pro tires it's a 40c tire a little bit uh, chunkier but still oriented to be really fast rolling race oriented tire and that's really going to work out well for me. Um, I did have an incident a few weeks back, uh, maybe a month ago, on my 3T where I went around a uh, pretty loose corner on some gravel roads and the lack of shoulder tread uh, just lost all traction in the corner. Bike slid out, skidded along the gravel for a little bit, uh, had quite a bit of road rash for a few weeks. but. Uh, back at it decided after that point it's really not enough shoulder tread for me on the looser surfaces they work out really great on hard pack um, really smooth surfaces they're a really fast tire but I really wanted to get something with a little bit more tread on it because uh, I've also run into some situations on some of the steeper climbs where I just sit there and spin the tire unless I'm 100% seated which isn't always possible so we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of things today Gonna pull them out of the box. Gonna go ahead and get a weight on them. Gonna get them mounted up and look at the uh, uh, measured width on a 20C internal, uh, 20 millimeter internal rim. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick first impressions uh, ride video. So, thanks for following along. All right guys, so today, got the challenge, getaway pro tire. Um, you've probably seen in some of my other videos if you watch back I really like the challenge tires the handmade construction uh, high TPI really make them a supple and smooth tire to use um, much like a tubular tire only they make them with an open design um, these ones are actually uh, tubeless ready TLR version so that's how I'll be setting those up one of the challenges with these challenge tires is that as they're handmade they're not vulcanized they lie flat when they're constructed like this so you actually have to work to get that bead seated and once you get that on though uh, it goes pretty smooth and they, they hold their shape but first install is always a bit challenging one of the things I struggled with a lot on setting up the challenge uh, Perry Roubaix road tires that I've used in the past is they're not tubeless ready so you have to have a tube in there and this bead because it wants to lie flat it's really challenging to get that tube to tuck up under the bead and I've had a couple instances where the uh, tube got stuck under the bead when I inflated it pinched it blew it out had to reset it so um, being a tubeless made tire I think the install is going to be a bit easier some people say they're really challenging to fit I'm going to put on on my Hunt 34 aero wide disc wheels that I've been using for gravel. So uh, I did reach out to Hunt. They said that's A-OK -okay, fine. So let's go ahead, get a weight on these, get them installed, see how they all set up. All right, got the tire here. You can see that tread pattern. It's actually not a really deep, let's see if I can get the camera to focus for you. It's not a really deep tread but it does have a bit more grip than what I'm working with now. And hopefully with it being a fairly uh, shallow tread that it rolls really fast too. Go ahead and put this here on the scales. Let's see where we're at. 478 grams for one. Go ahead and get this other one out of the box. Really nice packaging for these challenge tires as well. I always like that. All right, let's see number two. This one is 456 grams. So kind of interesting there that there's such a discrepancy between the two. Then again, handmade construction. Uh, you know, there might be a little bit more variability in that.
All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this challenge tire mounted up. Always have to make sure you got it directionally correct. fighting with that to get it seated for way longer than I should have. Let's go ahead and get this Austin back in here and see if we can get this tire seated on the bead with just a floor pump. If not, I have a compressor ready to go. Seated with just a floor pump. Awesome. That is fantastic. It also seems to be holding quite a bit of pressure in there. Now that it's seated though, go ahead and uh, remove that valve stem, pull that valve stem out, pull some sealant in, swish it around, should be good to go. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can get a measured width on this. So, sitting at about 39.9 mils on a 20C internal wheel. Right there, hopefully I can zoom in on it. So, that runs true to size right out of the gate. Let's check again after we've got a few miles on them. So after fighting with these things for probably about two hours, I can safely say they are by far the most difficult tires I have ever mounted in any situation. Road tires, gravel tires, whatever it may be. My admittedly cheap plastic tire levers completely bent and distorted and are pretty much no longer usable. My hands are aching from peeling that bead over. But I did go ahead and finally get them seated, holding there so far. Um, ran out of time to do a test ride today, let them sit overnight, get the sealant uh, all worked around in there. Hopefully, take them out on our first test ride tomorrow, or we'll, I'll report back. on gravel don't really have a good impression of everything yet but I can tell you immediately one thing I did feel was how supple the ride was the difference between the Torino zeros and even the the Riddlers I had on before that and these challenge tires when it comes to soaking up the vibration is just night and day so high TPI thread count handmade open tubular Perhaps that uh, counts for something. If you aren't getting beat up by the rocks, fatigue is a lot less. Maybe that makes you a whole lot faster regardless of uh, rolling resistance or anything like that. Got a few more miles in. I can definitely tell you the grip is a whole lot better than my Terreno Zeros. Just climbed up this little doozy of a climb and I was out of the saddle 450-500 watts. 
very, very little slip, only a couple of spots where I hit some bumps. So that's definitely a good improvement. flat road now so hopefully I can take a moment and talk a little bit about tire pressures so it's really interesting as a comparison between the two the Vittorias actually have a pressure range of 45 psi to 90 psi which I'll admit I never actually rode them above 45 psi except when I was on the road. I spent almost all of my time around 35 PSI rear, 30 front. I found that was best for comfort and traction. Now these Challenge tires, the Getaway Pros, they actually have a range of 25 PSI to 45. Not supposed to exceed 45 PSI. I did go above that when I was seating the tires on the rims, but that's actually smack dab uh, in the middle of where I want my expected operating range to be. So that's ideal for me. 